So it must be about time for another helping of bat soup, unless you're absolutely stuffed to the brim full of the stuff. But I just wanted to show you one thing, because I didn't really know what this was when I first saw it. So I just, well, let's talk you through it here. Here we go. So this place here has been labeled as a rest area where people can rest because they're now not allowed to stop in the, in the pavement on the sidewalk says it here as well okay so I didn't see the signs when I first saw this but I'll show you what it looks like okay so obviously you can't stop here on the pavement because otherwise the virus will just go and bite your head off but once you get passed through into this area with the magical plastic boundaries here you're now safe from the perils that you might face if you were managed to stop and look at your phone say in front of a shop there um, Pretty, pretty, pretty um, high-tech stuff, right? Um, at the moment, it looks like it's going to be temporary. But there's another contradiction which I'll show you now. We'll just have a little wander. Um, actually, I should point out the building behind me over there is Balliol College, where um, Boris Johnson went to university, and then who knows where they first start teaching him the things that um, we don't know. Who knows where they first initiate them into the madness that they're perpetrating on us? But that's where he went to college. Now. Since I spoke to you last, they've actually um, upgraded the, uh, the the nonsense on the floors. They're actually bigger now, the print, just in case we weren't taking notice. Or maybe it's because we didn't throw it out or didn't resist initially, so they thought, well, we'll make it slightly more permanent. And some of them have been done in uh, the kind of the kind of a yellow paint, which I don't think there's any on this street, which is more like uh, double yellow lines. Um, but anyway, so here we, let's get back to our contradiction in terms of the benches. So they, they're telling you you can't stop anywhere walking around in the pedestrianised areas. This road is sort of semi-pedestrian. You can only really come in here most days for, for deliveries and for loading, right? But on the other side of the road over here, we have, we have benches. Okay? And there's some people sitting on the other ones over there. There's people going against the one-way system, which is always good. Um, so here there's people sitting on those benches, right? So presumably they'll have to be moved if that's not going to be a complete contradiction uh, because you can't have benches where people are safe and benches s surrounded uh, by an orange plastic corral um, where the livestock are being told they're safe and you've got benches over there where they apparently are safe. Um, the other thing which makes me think this one might be more permanent is uh, the fact that we have, in Oxford it's quite a cycling uh, city, it's mainly a university town so you've got lots of uh, students ro rolling about on their bikes and you can see here that um, these barriers have all got signs on them and these signs saying that the cycle racks are going to be removed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film that probably I can't really see because it's so bright in the sun but I'll try. It says cycle rack removed by the 3rd of July 2020. So it looks like this livestock corral here for people who want to stay still is going to become a permanent affair and actually that's the word that you get from people who are working in the councils is that all this madness that they're applying here um, is going to be is rolling out over the next 12 months. You can see why I didn't understand what the hell it was when uh, I first saw it because I just saw this and thought like maybe they're doing some road marking stuff or maybe they're uprooting something but they put down three new benches actually in the, in the road and if you're on this side, you can't stop because you're unsafe. If you're on that side, apparently it protects you from the virus. Now, if that's not enough to show you that that is not medical, and that's utter rubbish, um, <laughs> I don't know what is, but I'll keep trying, I'll keep trying. The absurdities are everywhere, they're all around us. Um, and you've probably got millions in your town, in your village or whatever, but it's windy now, so I'll let it go. Take care. Digest your soup.